Non-urban noir is really a post-war phenomenon. Mexico is important in noir, first of all, because it's where people who are fleeing from the law are always heading. So the Mexican border is this kind of mirage of safety and of escape. But the Mexican border is also a crucial noir location because it is this transient, lawless, desperate place that makes it a really key noir location. But I would not say that Mexico or Mexican culture is really portrayed negatively in noir. It's much more about what Americans bring to it and what they do there and how they perceive Mexico as this place where somehow anything goes or where they can get away with certain things. And there's often a sense of delirium and confusion and this sort of funhouse quality. It's like people have gone through the looking glass. There actually are several movies, including Ride the Pink Horse, but also The Big Steel, a movie called One Way Street, that contrast this sort of money-grubbing, backstabbing, impatient, rude Americans with a Mexican culture that is portrayed as much kind of slower and more gracious and wiser. It's almost a sense of Mexico as representing this, this kinder and gentler past. I mean, it's definitely still stereotyped, but it's not a, it's not a derogatory stereotype. It's almost, con it's a contrast to a portrayal of, you know, modern American life and values. What, you got no place for sleep? No. Oye, muchachos, el amigo de Pancho no tiene donde dormir. That's the kind of man I like, the man with no place. Ride the Pink Horse belongs to a kind of subgenre of movies about urban characters who go into rural areas or small towns. But the difference with Ride the Pink Horse is that he's also going into this foreign culture. At first, he's totally insensitive to it. He's not interested. He's very crass. Why do you have to look like that? Like what? Like you come out of a sideshow. What's a sad show? Place where they keep freaks. But in the end, he winds up connecting not with the people who seem to be like him, the crooked businessman, the thugs, the femme fatale, but he ends up connecting with the local people and being helped, needing that world and needing those people.